everybody welcome back to the channel today we will be getting into two effects so let's get right into it okay so we have our clip right here with broadcaster and i like this uh you can not only use it for news broadcast you can use it for other things in post-production as well but i'm going to use it for broadcast today and when you download these generators they will be in the B3 Studios tab under Generators. And um, there's five of them, it comes with five. I'm gonna show you only two today, but you can check the rest out on the site. But this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna cut this clip. And really cool generator. you can add that uh, beep noise you can add sound effects to this generator if you want but uh, I really like that generator because it gives me like an old-timey feel but yeah that was one of them and we can go choose another one this is kind of sort of like a video game ish kind of background for an error sign so there's uh five different generators for the TV broadcast effect. So you guys go grab those and let's move on to our next one. Okay, for our next effect, we have a sequence of photos. So as I scroll through the timeline, you see these are photos. And I'm gonna put my playhead back to the beginning. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all of the photos and we're gonna go press Control D and that controls the duration of all the photos so we're going to set that to three seconds and after i set that to three seconds as you can see it's going fast in the timeline so they're all in the same three second order and we're going to highlight it once again and we're going to press option g and that makes it a compound clip and you can name it whatever you want after that i'm going to scale it up to where it fits um, in the timeline, so about 279, and I'm gonna bring it up on a Y axis so everything's even. And then I'm gonna go to my effects tab and go to light and go to streaks. And I'm just gonna drag that on the clip. Okay, now you see it's pretty bright, so we're gonna make some adjustments. I'm going to turn down the glow a bit and the amount. And every uh, photo sequence is going to be different, so you can adjust it to your liking. Um, this is just, I'm making adjustments according to this photo sequence, but um, every photo will be different, so just try to make it look as neat and as clean as possible. I'm going to change the color to like an orangey color. And as you can see, um, it's not that clear, so we're gonna still make adjustments. So I'm gonna turn down the thickness. Yeah, I'll mess with the threshold a little bit. We can get a film overlay online. You can get any film overlay online that you want. You can YouTube it or Google it. But once you get that, drag it on top of your photo sequence. And just grab the part that you want and cut the rest off. Command B to blade it. And then you want to line it up with your footage. I'm going to just take the volume down of the film overlay. And after that, I want to change the blend mode to add. So we'll get rid of those dark reds so we can see, actually see our subject in the back. And we're going to take the scale up on this as well so we won't see the lines. And when we play it back, it looks pretty good right there. And if you wanted to make this effect even better, I'm not going to go over it, but... You can add a earthquake in the beginning, so you can just go to search 
an earthquake and you can be a, like a shake effect like you saw in the beginning of the video i'm not gonna go over it because i don't want to waste you guys' time but if you would like me to go over it in another video just comment below and i will surely do that i really appreciate you guys for taking the time to look at this video um it means a lot if this helps you out in any way like and consider subscribing so we can drop new content uh every week and i'm looking forward to you guys' comments all right i'll see you guys soon i appreciate it Shorty.